I was playing on Jillies. Miles used to come in here, and after a while, he'd come in here and watch me play, listen to me play. And I must have been playing in a way that grabbed his attention because I was really getting into the meat of not just playing, but playing with certain ways and means, you know? And I used to listen to Errol Garner. I loved Alma Jamal, loved Oscar Peterson. These were my heroes. They played the piano, they ate the piano. I must have been doing it in a way that Miles liked. And he came over to me at the end of the set and he said, I want you to come by the house. And I started going up to his apartment, just hanging out with him. My relationships were very, very wonderful with a lot of the, the, the real, call it original of my life, who are no longer alive. So when your friends or the older people that took you in, kind of moving on, then you kind of end up saying, what now? But then comes a new, a new bunch of guys coming. I don't want to say kids, but you feel like that's what, and then not long after there's a new bunch after that, another bunch, and they keep coming in tears. And I started noticing it from, from the late 70s on. And in the 80s, and you had and the advent of Berkeley, and a lot of musicians who got a degree. What has happened, which has made it more respected, more studied, is the advent of education, where when young person goes to school, they can also have a course in jazz, right? But here's where I get off of that. You can study classical music and try to re redo and develop your own thing coming from Bach and Beethoven. But this thing about jazz, what makes jazz this incredible thing, is a mystery. So when you have the educated guy who's a professor coming and saying, if those that do, that this is what it is or this is what it isn't, I, 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 it, 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 it's a mystery. Because if a guy like me and some of my heroes can 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 explain it, we can't explain it. Why does a bird fly? The study of jazz became like a classical study. It's, it's studied, and all these and the talented people coming out of the schools, and it's a great thing. But the way the great music happened was on the street corner, hanging out. I mean, even Brubeck, you know, they were hanging out with the other guys, you know, not listening to Professor Brown. So I'm a little fuddy-duddy in that department. I thought Easton was, was a town in Pennsylvania, because I like boxing. I knew that's where Larry Holmes came from, <laughs> the boxer, right? And then I found out I met Al, and uh, he, was a, he is a, a lover of the music, the real deal. And he came and he had this idea for a jazz festival. And he wanted to use, put my name. What, what kind of a strange thing is that? do put my name. And I sat back and I said, why not? And I trusted that he was a cool guy and he was gonna be a true blue, if he said it, it was. And um, here we are, eight years later. Well, th thanks to um, a certain underpinning of, of how the people are there, and I don't know why, but there's a lot of sharp folks in that area, you know, that like their stuff of a certain excellence. And if indeed, if I'm that, and I bring my pizzazz, you might call it, that they, 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 they know that I'm glad they're there. So I go to my way, happily so, to, to make them happy. Yeah. You know, and whatever the theme is, because every year I've done something different. But this time, it's not something I even really talking about much, but it's going to tap into an experience where it was on the inspirational side. So it's going to be, it's going to be, without being a kind of somber thing, I'm going to tap into uh, stuff that makes us have hope for the future. That's, that's what I'm going to talk because you got to have hope. Everything you do, when, every time I play a note on the piano, I'm looking for hope and, and good goodwill and faith. And it sounds naive and silly to some people, but that's exactly what I do. I look for the, I tell people, I look for the donut, not the hole. 